Here it is, Sunday afternoon, and we are finally back. We got our power back on Saturday night, a little bit after 8 o'clock. And so it was out for almost three days. It went out shortly after 8 on Wednesday, got it back shortly after 8 on Saturday night. So three days of power outage. Uh, luckily, we didn't lose too much in the freezer. Uh, I packed up uh, 24 bottles of water in there, so it kept the freezer part cold. We threw out uh, some of the stuff in the refrigerator, because. Uh, but uh, we didn't pack too much in the in the freezer during hurricane season. We don't put a lot of in the freezer. I just had a, a shoulder roast. Uh, pork shoulder roast and some ground meat in there it was just starting to thaw out so we're cooking that up today we're going to have hamburgers and shoulder pork shoulder roast for the next week <laughs> but i want to thank everybody who was concerned about debbie and i during the hurricane before the hurricane during the hurricane uh we did not have uh good internet so it was kind of slow uh communicating back i had to go outside to uh with the cell phone because <laughs> inside the house there was absolutely nothing i couldn't get anything had to walk outside just to even answer text uh facebook messages uh when i did the uh, short on youtube it said it would take an, an one hour and one minute to upload <laughs> So I don't know exactly what time it went out, but it was daylight when when I did it. So I ended up putting a community post out. Uh, you all saw that one there. So we're glad that uh, we got the power back up. I'll show you a couple of uh, photos of uh, uh, what happens. A couple of little short clips of videos uh, of what we took. Uh, not too much damage. No damage to the building at all. Uh, it rained about three o'clock in the afternoon it flooded the street and the ditches and my neighbor took a, a video of me walking back because i was out on the street uh checking out everything um but that was about it during a hurricane we hardly got anything uh i think the um was listening on the radio they said the uh highest wind was 73 miles per hour but there was a lot of tornadoes and i'll show a picture of the tornadoes i think there was between 110 and 170 tornadoes in florida altogether on wednesday most of it was on the east coast and in the center part of uh, florida before the hurricane we uh, on wednesday morning and afternoon we were getting uh, uh tornado warnings <laughs> on the cell phone just about every half hour so the, we did see some buildings that had the roofs torn off you know sections of roof here and there spotted here and there so i guess the tornadoes were really small and isolated so uh luckily we made out two years ago it, the tornado the hurricane was a lot stronger uh this one uh, it, it, it appeared that it was all lopsided. There was nothing on the south side of it. It went a little, it traveled up a little bit north of us. And so we hardly got anything. I, I stayed up Wednesday night, uh, couldn't sleep. And I was waiting for the big rumbles and everything. And uh, we never got it. Never got a lot of rain or anything like that either. Just right before on, on one of the first bands that came through is when we got most of the rain. And that was it. I didn't check the total precipitation, but it couldn't have been too much. So I want to thank everybody for their concerns. Uh, we're back. Uh, we're sweaty. <laughs> we got to get a shower today because we didn't have any hot water. And so <laughs> luckily we go see our doctor tomorrow. And uh, we went and got a few groceries today because the uh, refrigerator is back up. And so thank you all. We really appreciate it. We'll be back on doing videos and doing uh, uh, Wednesday night live stream workbench Wednesday. So until the next time, we'll see you. And here's a couple of clips of uh, what happened uh, before, during, and after.
right, here it is. Uh, Wednesday afternoon is about quarter after six. We had a heavy rain between three and 3.30 today. It flooded the yard, flooded the street, flooded my neighbor's yard. But since then, hardly anything. The wind's just starting to pick up again and I think it's just sprinkling a little bit. Now that branch blew off the tree about quarter after two this afternoon. <laughs> so the last time we had a hurricane, it thinned out that oak tree pretty good. But uh, so far so good. It's starting to get a, a little windy again. But not too bad yet. This is when we were supposed to start getting the wind around six o'clock. But we got the, the worst part of it about three, three o'clock. It rained pretty heavy for about a half an hour but nothing since then. It's been like this for about the last three hours. Okay, Thursday morning, 7.35. Still a little bit of windy. Still a lot of tree thinned out a little bit. A lot of branches. On the ground. Let's take a look around. Not very wet. Okay, not as bad as the last hurricane. Yeah, you got a bunch of avocados on the ground. <laughs> I knew that would happen. Trying to find a place that has a good signal, uh, usually uh, out close to 27, you can find a uh, 5G signal, but <laughs> it is non-existent right now. I can't even bring up anything on the apps or anything. We was in Chick-fil-A and uh, eating uh, uh, early, or early lunch, because that was the only thing open. Bob Evans was open, but the line was way backed up on that, and McDonald just opened up. So we ended up eating uh, an early lunch at Chick-fil-A and we had a signal there. Thank goodness. But, uh, you know, it was really, really crowded so we had to get up and uh, let somebody else sit down. But uh, Debbie found a thrift store that was open right here in Avon Park. And across the street, they got it closed off because they're clearing out the trees over there on a side street. So, tried to pull up uh, Bongino and couldn't even get that up. I, you know, it just froze there and no sound, nothing. So, oh goodness, it's Friday, uh, 11:40. So, here we go. Thank you.